Welcome to PLG podcast number four, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is extremely important for project managers, and it's especially important as we grow in our careers and we advance and make the transition from project management to project leadership. In essence, emotional intelligence is about going from thinking about I to thinking about we, and ultimately thinking about the team, our stakeholders, and the organization. Emotional intelligence stems from our ability to go from a reactive mode to a proactive mode. It involves self-awareness, social awareness, and a real understanding and uh, ability to foster relationships. If our focus is on understanding and awareness and building relationships, we naturally will become better listeners and achieve greater project results. We'll become more flexible in the way we think and won't be locked into our ideas. We'll be open to new ones and we'll always have our eye on the big picture, the long-term goal. What's good for the project? What's good for the organization? When we're in a reactive mode, we think defensively. If somebody attacks our ideas, or a client yells at us, or we have uh, a situation with a coworker or a team member, we get defensive and then we react. And the reaction could be toxic. And the reaction really is detrimental to the ultimate success of the project in the organization, but it's especially harmful for the project manager's image as a leader. As project managers, it's important that we use our emotional intelligence to build alliances, to show flexibility of thinking, and to take the steps necessary to grow and foster relationships and teamwork. We want to manage the situation, not have the situation manage us. We go from thinking negatively to thinking positively. We go from a victim mindset to a mindset of growth and expanding the opportunities for our co-workers and our stakeholders. We can't be sarcastic if we're going to be successful as project managers and project leaders. Something to think about, emotional intelligence. We start from technical strengths, we build organizational skills, we bring management skills, but ultimately to make the, the final leap to project leadership, we have to be very good at balancing our own emotions and keeping them in check as we try to achieve what's good for the project and for the organization.